Hello and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung. This video I'm going to show you how to install the latest and greatest Linux Mint version 14 inside of VMware. So I'm going to assume that you have a 64-bit processor, something like a Core i3, i5, or even better, i7. And so let's get started. First of all, you're going to need to download an ISO. So go to linuxmint.com. And when you go to this page, you'll see the download button right there. Scroll down and you've got uh, several options here. First option that you want to pick is Mate, no codex. So reason we don't want codex is eventually, since this is the Router Gods page, I'm going to show you how to install GNS3 for your CCIE, CCNA, and CCNP studies. And we really don't need any codex like MP3 or video or any of, of that stuff. So go down here to Mate, no codex. Pick the 64-bit version there, click on that, and you have a couple options here. You can torrent it if you have BitTorrent installed. That's probably going to be your fastest route, or you can scroll down here and pick the appropriate mirror. So if you're in the U.S., pick something under U.S., and depending on your internet speed, it might take up to an hour. If you're on something like a Fios or a fast DSL, it may take only 10 to 15 minutes or so. So after you download it, go ahead and close up your internet browser. And in my case, I'm going to use VMware Workstation. If you are using VMware Player, that's fine as well. And so let's bring up VMware Workstation. Okay, so after everything is downloaded, open up VMware Workstation. Here I'm using VMware Workstation 9. Click on Create a New Virtual Machine. It'll probably default to custom, and that's fine. Click Next. Click Next again. And right here, you're going to select the appropriate installer image, the ISO. So just click Browse. And in my case, I'm down here under Virtual Machines. I throw all of my install ISOs under the directory Install ISO. And just find that ISO that you just downloaded. So Linux Mint 14.1, Mate, DVD, no codex, 64-bit. That looks good to me. We'll click Open, and then we'll click Next. Guest Operating System, we are going to select Linux and Ubuntu. And click Next. We're going to call this Linux Mint 14, 64-bit. Of course, you can call yours whatever you want, but I like to keep mine uh, kind of that naming convention. And it's under my E drive, so that's good. Number, number of processors and number of cores, just leave all of that to one. And the memory for this virtual machine, I like giving my virtual machines 4,500 megabytes. So about four gigs. Click Next. It'll probably default to use NAT. Just leave that checked or selected right there. Click Next. LSI logic recommended, that's fine. We'll say create a new virtual disk. SCSI is also fine. And then maximum disk size. I like to put this at 10 because all I'm doing is installing a GNS3 and some other things on it. So it's pretty lightweight. I do not, do not select allocate all disk space now. And what this will do is it will make this dynamic. So it's going to start small. As you add stuff, it will grow as needed. So what I do is a lot of times after I make this image, I zip it up and throw it somewhere. And if I have this unselected, it's a lot smaller. It's also better to FTP and to give to your friends. And store virtual disk. I always pick store virtual disk as a single file because uh, usually it's not, it's uh, almost never more than four gigs large. So I don't like it to be split up. And click next. And next again. And we're going to click on Customize Hardware. And let's go from the bottom up. Accelerate 3D Graphics, that's fine. Printer, we don't want a printer. We don't want a sound card. USB controller, uncheck all of that crap. NAT is fine. Floppy, make sure that's unchecked. The DVD is selected, that's cool. And I think we are okay. Let's click Close and Finish. 
You can see all of our settings are right there. It's just waiting us to hit power on. And it's found the ISO image. It's almost as if it's exactly as if you had popped in the DVD and it uh, loaded from the DVD. And so Linux Mint, after it boots up, it's going to boot up into a live environment, which means everything's running in memory. Nothing has actually been installed yet. And that's to give you a chance to see if all the graphic settings and everything would work on your machine. Afterwards, we're actually going to install it into the virtual disk of VMware. And it's just given us a warning about the floppy disk. We already know that, so we'll just click OK. And right here it says Install Linux Mint. That's exactly what we want to do. Double click. Pick your appropriate language. In my case, it's going to be English. Continue. And it's telling us we need 6.2 available drive space. We've got that, and we are connected to the Internet. So click Continue. And just leave it selected on the first guy. Erase the disk and install. You're doing this all in VMware, so really doesn't matter what happens if you mess up, but just have the first one selected and click Continue. And install now. Select the appropriate time zone. Looks like here it's selected Los Angeles for me, so that's good. English and US. Actually, I type on a Dvorak keyboard for 90 5% of you guys out there just keep it on English US, but here I'm going Dvorak. And we're going to call this one Router Gods, computer name Router Gods, username Router Gods, password Router Gods. Everything is Router Gods, and I'm going to log in automatically. We're just going to keep it easy. And now it's going to be copying files and doing the install. This will probably take about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the speed of your machine. All right, so Linux Mint has finished the install. We're given an option to either continue testing or restart. Go ahead and click Restart. And basically, it's going to kick over the virtual machine. And let's keep our fingers crossed and hope the desktop comes up. Okay, it's telling us to remove the installation media and close the trays. So we have a virtual CD plugged into our virtual machine. So what you do is you notice that the screen's black. If you move your mouse, you're probably not going to get anything because VMware Tools is not installed yet. So hit Control and Alt at the same time. That tells VMware to release the, the cursor. And then go up here to VM, Removable Devices, and the CD and click on settings and so you can see here we've got the CD go ahead and uncheck connect at power on click OK click back into your VM you can see that your cursor disappears and hit enter and your VM will reboot and so far so good and we have the Linux Mint welcome screen so that's pretty good we're gonna keep this dialog box up for now if you don't like it, you can uncheck it and click close and it won't appear again. So for now, we'll click close. Unable to mount floppy, that's fine. That's okay. And this is our desktop. Let me see if I can resize it here. Okay. So you can see right now that my desktop is pretty small. I'm going to change the display. And actually, before I change the display, let's take a little tour for those of you guys who are new to Linux. Computer right here, this is kind of like your... File Explorer, you could search through your file system. Router God's Home, this is kind of like your My Documents page. We'll be going into this folder quite often. In order to shut down your machine, go to the bottom left-hand corner. This is kind of like the Start menu. Click on that, and then click on Quit. That's going to log you out. So when you quit, there's several options here. You could do a shutdown, which is usually what I do. You can restart, hibernate, or suspend. So usually I do shutdown. So one of the first things you want to do as soon as you come up and your Linux Mint is working just fine, always do a shutdown. And then wait a little bit at this screen. It's going to take a couple seconds afterwards for it to do the complete shutdown. Okay, so now everything's shut down. Now go to the folder that you actually have your VM in. So in my case, it's my E drive, 
virtual machines and I think I called it Linux Mint 14 64 bit. So you notice we've got a bunch of files here. The virtual machine right there is actually that file there. So if you ever want to start this up from uh, from scratch, so you, let's say you load up Windows and you just want to start this, just double click on that or you could make a shortcut to it, throw it on your desktop and double click on that. But what you want to do is in order to save all your settings and prevent you from, you know, so you don't have to go through the install all again, just select all these files and zip them up. You know, so pop them into a big archive and throw them on your NAS drive, throw them on a backup hard drive. That way, if you ever mess up your VM, just copy the file back over, unzip it, and double click on this Linux Mint 14. Okay, I'm going to cancel that zip because I really don't need it. So let's fire up the machine again. Okay, we're back up and running. So first thing we want to do is change the display settings because right now it's pretty small. It's probably like 800 by 600 or some crappy resolution like that. So what we want to do is go in the bottom left hand corner, click on that guy right there, and then click on, I think it's going to be Control Center. That under Control Center, let's see if we can find Display. Okay, here we go. Hardware monitors, that looks good to me. And yep. Looks like we are 800 by 600. We're going to click the drop down and let's go let's go 1280 by 800. Of course, you can pick whatever you like. And we're going to apply it. And yeah, that looks pretty good.